Hello, everyone, and uh, welcome to uh, Crypto Night, the crypto investor channel. I'm Boris, so let's dive in. Uh, hi, Colton. How are you? I'm doing great, Boris. How are you doing today? Good. We're going to be looking at uh, Gala Games today. Yes. So let me share my screen. There we go. So um, Gala Games, very, very popular uh games they have uh they have released several games uh, already they have more coming up uh so and and they're really nice i mean they, they look pretty awesome if you look at some of the graphics as well uh they've done a, a really good job yes, now definitely. the cool thing about gala games is on the top of being video games that are pretty cool they have a lot of nfts so yep lots of uh things they have drops you know that the things they offer but uh so some of the games you can see right here like town crush superior etc etc if we go here we see uh the games so some of them are browser based they can be played on pretty much anything mm -hmm. uh, tablets pc uh phones some of them are only PC based, some are Mac and PC, you know, so different different platforms, browser, you know, um, so they have a few different games on different platforms. Yeah. Uh, now, the cool thing that they offer is, boom, you have a store right here and those are the NFTs that they sell. Some are sold out, you know, mm -hmm. but basically depending on the game, you know, you can select whichever game uh, you want to buy from and there you go. You have different weapons, you have uh, different things, you know, to rejuvenate your, your life or, you know, to uh, buy different uh, cars, different cars, you know, different, uh, different things. So they have quite a few things. They're all NFT based. So the point is that you buy it because you want to use it in the game. And then later on, you can, you know, resell it and hopefully it has gone up in value and so you can um you know you can uh resell it and the cool thing is they give you the price you know this is in gala so three hundred thousand, you know a little bit over three hundred thousand uh gala coins it's about 20 cents so right that's now. that's kind yeah. of you know quite a bit of money because right there that's that's like 60 grand at you know the current price mm -hmm. so um so it's a mix between video games and NFTs and, and, and all those things, you know, combined and, and people deciding on the video games uh, because th th that's the other thing that they say is we are owned by the users. Mm -hmm. So um, if we look at, you know, um, here, you know, they say, okay, fun first, of course, you know, they want to develop really uh, simple, but uh, nice, beautiful games. They're owned by the players. So mm -hmm. uh, you can make money by, uh, and we're going to look at this in a minute, you know, you can own nodes on, yep. on Gala. And, uh, you know, they have community rules. They, 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 they're very present on Discord, of course, you know, you, yep. you can... Uh, uh, discuss with the whole team uh, where things are going and the, 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 they have a strong voice, the community has a strong voice to say this is what we would like to see in the product, etc. So, mm -hmm. uh, and then powered by the people because like I was saying, you can own nodes. Uh, there are, I, I believe currently, uh, you know, 26,000, over 26,000 nodes, you know, they say 16,000, but this number has gone way up. So now they have about 26,000 player run nodes to power the ecosystem. Uh, so that's, that's, that's really cool. You know, and they have other games coming up. You see, uh, they're announcing that they're going to have a Sin City NFT collectibles. Mm -hmm. um, so really nice uh, product. Check out some of the games. Uh, now they say they are most expensive NFT ever sold, you know, uh, $3 million. Wow. Yep. That's a lot of money. Yep. They have 1.3 million monthly active users, large number as well. They have over 90 team members. So mm -hmm. that's also very nice because that, that means that they have a large team of people. And so that you would 
keep see more things being developed. Yep. And then they have sold over 26,000 NFTs. So uh, cool thing is the nodes, if you really want to be part of, so either you can buy just the coin just to buy NFTs and use the games and, and do different things, uh, interactions with the game. If you want to be completely part of this whole thing, you can buy a Gala node. Now, I should warn you, it's a little bit pricey. Currently, there are 26,539 nodes online. Mm -hmm. And if you want to buy a node, hold on to your handlebars, <laughs> uh, 475,240 nodes and some change. change. <laughs> so one single node will run you 475,000 galas, which at two days price around 20 cents per gala, you're talking roughly uh, $95,000 yeah. for a node. Now, how much money can you make with that node? Because that's the big question, you know, I mean, already it's pricey, but you know, how much can I make? Well, some people have done some calculations for, uh, for us. Roughly, a node will get you 490 gala tokens daily. Now, they calculated that at 65, which was the price a few months ago, that would make mm -hmm. you 318. But at today, at 20 cents, roughly, that's going to make you $98 a day. So let's say $100 a day. Yeah. Back then, I think this was from last year in September, the, the nodes were at $50,000. We're already at 95000 so it's gone, it's gone, it's double in price pretty much uh, since September last year. But back then it would take you 157 days at 318 a day of income, 157 days to pay for the node. That means that after six months, a little less than six months, you would have your node completely paid for. And at that point, you are able to make money daily you know your in original investment has been reimbursed in six months mm -hmm. not too bad today if we are at ninety-five thousand and we calculate at 20 cents it's going to take a very very long time it's going to take several several years but remember the the 490 coins you're getting every day you don't have to sell them right now you can just keep them yes take on them. the side Keep them and wait for the price to come back up. Because why would you sell at 20 cents when it's low right now? Mm -hmm. 20 cents is is definitely uh, a, a low price for for Gala. Um, so if you put it to the side and you wait that it goes back to 65 or more, you know, uh, let's say even if you waited for 65 to come back, well, this number is going to double because of course that was when it was. Fifty thousand dollars a node. So now you're more looking around the lines of about three hundred days mm -hmm. before you see your money back. But that's ten months, so it's not too bad. And after ten months, you have your uh, your node still producing because, of course, there are so many games and new games are coming out. So it's going to keep on producing. This number, you know could bo could go up you know and and that's definitely uh, another uh, possibility so yeah, sure. um it, it's not one of these quick uh, you know quick skin uh, yeah. get rich quick you know uh like getting one two three percent a day which those are usually unsustainable mm -hmm. this one is much more sustainable so that's the cool thing that i like you know about this now the problem is the entry price is kind of high but you can still make nice money if you have a much more uh smaller portfolio much smaller uh, amount to invest you can still you know you can still um get nice return on your gala tokens yep. so gala tokens are sitting at 20 cents right now um they went all the way up at some point, you know, 65 in November, that was the high. But remember, a few months before that, they were at two cents. Back in September last year, they were at two cents. So we're not talking that long ago, they were at two cents. And and before that, you know, one cent, whatever. And if I go max, you know, goes back to October of uh, 2020, 
and it was 0 0.00093 so really a fraction fraction of a <laughs> of a penny yeah. and the cool thing is uh it's because of course back then there was no game they were in development so as soon as they started releasing some game, boom, everything started exploding. Now the market retraced, so of course Gala retraced with it, but uh, they're gonna go back up to 65 cents. And trust me, this company, you know, their market cap is 1.5 billion currently, mm -hmm. but they could be 15, 20, 30 billion dollar company. So they could 10, they could 20X from here. So 20x, you know, from here, they could be at four dollars, you know, four dollars, four dollars a coin. So uh, high, high potential because they're really selling a product that people want. They're selling video games, they're selling NFTs, so they have nodes, so they have multiple ways for people to make money because that's another thing. If you look at those uh, NFTs, if we go back here, you can actually buy some of those and you see some of them are very reasonable you know a thousand two hundred so you yeah. know basically like 200 something dollars you know this one right here fourteen hundred dollars uh the knife thirty five thousand so uh that that's you know uh that's a little bit more that's like three thousand uh, yeah. uh i mean seven thousand dollars you know or whatever so I, I, it gets a little bit more pricey but those nfts can go way up in price and some of them yeah. can be reasonable you know you can find some that are still reasonable you know and for 540 dollars i mean 540 uh, coins so basically uh 100 dollars you know um etc so and if you guys noticed the some of that boris have showed you the walking dead the tv show is a sponsor uh of some of these uh, nfts on here so you know that's yeah. why you know that knife that boris just showed you guys you know that's you know why it's so expensive as well as the walking dead does have that so you know your nft will always be you know part of the walking dead nft as well too and you can see right there at the top left it says walking dead on on those nfts so yeah you know that's the interesting part behind it too you're not only getting an nft but you're getting an nft from the walking dead and you know that show is over now so you know that's going to be worth money you know when you know when next generation comes and watches the walking dead <clears throat> correct and uh last thing is they're easy to buy you know yeah. so they operate a node but buying from an exchange now binance coinbase crypto.com you know qcoin gate.io uniswap ftx you know so, you know, Bitthumb, they, they, they have really uh, some of the major ones. So once again, a, a coin that is easily accessible to everyone, not yep. difficult to buy uh, pretty much anywhere. Yep. So, so that's another cool thing because that's sometimes annoying when you see a great coin, but it's so damn hard to go get it. <laughs> it's like one yeah. or two exchanges in the world that can get it. Yeah. But like I don't want to sign up to a new exchange just to get one one uh, one new coin. Definitely. And you know, and, and Boris, you know, Gala has put the pressure on, you know, the big two of Microsoft and Sony recently, you know, um, mm -hmm. wanting to get into the metaverse and, and into these type of games. Uh, and with that being said, Microsoft purchased Activision, you know, for about $68 billion a couple months ago. And as of yesterday, Sony bought Epic Games, which is Fortnite. Uh, the biggest game in Epic Games is Fortnite. And uh, they bought it for about $2 billion. So, you know, at the end of the day, I think uh, pushing these larger entities to, you know, move towards, you know, the metaverse is going to be a great play for Gala 2 in the long term. Um, I mean, Fortnite already pretty much, you know, you're buying NFTs every day on Fortnite. If you play, you're buying skins, you're doing that, but you're using virtual currency. So that's why Sony purchased Epic Games to help them, you know, get take the right step into the metaverse. Sony already has the built in VR with the PlayStation. You know, Xbox is not there quite yet. Xbox doesn't have, you know, the, the PlayStation VR or the equivalent to xbox vr but you know this is the steps that they're taking and you know this is going to make a big big difference you know for the big two but also the smaller developers who are you know trying to get there and 
a lot of these from gala there's multiple games on the you know the app store that already that you have seen and like i said they're going to continue to partner with the walking dead you know with fortnite with activision is call of duty so you know call of duty you spend i mean 20 or 48 days you know by the time the new call of duty comes out you know you have all this money all this rewards this time you can turn it in and make money off of it with an nft so you know instead of sitting there with virtual currency that you know it technically isn't you know crypto it's virtual currency in the game you can make some serious money at the end of the day and like i said like bor said you know right now some of the stuff is a little bit expensive but as more people and more you know gamers accept it you know i would expect a correction and you know it will be more reasonable to purchase a skin a knife you know or something along those lines to help you know grow your character or characters yeah exactly and and the other thing that and that's why microsoft or sony you know are getting into the the metaverse into the games and, and and all those different plays is because they know there's like immediate money to be made you know there's there the are... nft there's the node mm -hmm. there's so many things and they know that uh people want to play video games they are already selling a ton of video games so mm -hmm. sometimes in crypto it's a little bit more difficult when it's things about the future like oh yeah this is going to replace some of the banking this is going to replace some of the investments yeah you know but it's very complicated and no, no one knows exactly how it's going to work yet you know so sometimes it's a pie in the sky you don't know it it's like okay i can see that's going to make some money it's going to be great all that stuff here with video games people get immediate satisfaction because they're going to play those games. Those games are already online. They're already mm -hmm. uh, available. So that's that's the other reason why they are concentrating so much on... Uh, everyone's concentrating so much on video games because they know that there are already players and people out there. And that's what they were saying on the, uh, on the website. Here at Gala, they were saying like, yeah, we already have, you know, 1.3 million monthly active users mm -hmm. so we already have a lot of people yeah and and to piggyback off that you know most of the games are already ready to be you know in the metaverse slash you know in the crypto world because you're paying for skins you're paying for a battle pass every month or every two months when the new season comes out it's just they're not called nfts in the video game right now you know and you don't make real money off of it now you know with these purchases you can make real money off of it you can sell your skin back and make money off your john wick skin that you had in fortnite or a gold gun in uh, call of duty so you know that's really what the difference is, is yes they're there right now already they just need to make it to where you can you know sell and buy and make real money or crypto off of it at the end of the day correct so and the other thing that's nice from its all-time high we're down 75 percent mm -hmm. uh it was at 82 cents and uh mm -hmm. we're down 75.6 percent currently so cool thing is it's to me that's that's a great entry point because it's it's a great project has a lot of opportunities and we all know that this is still very early i mean when you see that yep. this project was worth literally peanuts um a year ago you know it, it was so low as far as the price um it has a lot of room to grow you know this is like buying bitcoin to me back in 2010 2012 you know so long ago when it was at the very beginning now like we said in other videos you know be always careful when betting on some of those coins because uh you don't want to put too much you want to put two percent roughly of your portfolio on something like this you know maybe four percent if you feel a little you know risky and, and and you think uh you you believe in the project if you do a little bit more research but no matter what it has a great potential of going way way up and of course you know making and i'm not saying this is going to happen over the course of six months it may take several years it'll probably take several years like five you know three four five years but potentially this could be sitting at four five six seven dollars and then you'll be like, wow, okay, I made, you know, let's say 30x over yeah. the past uh, three, four, five years. And that's just crazy because you know that for the same thing to happen with Bitcoin, you would need to be over like $1.2 million of Bitcoin, you yeah. know, to make a 30, you know, a 30x. 
and that may happen one day, but we're probably more like 10, 15 years away from that happening. Yeah. So the yeah. cool thing is you would get the reward faster with a coin like Gala. But because it is a smaller project, don't want to be as exposed and, and, and take some of the risk of the table as well. Yep. And, you know, personal opinion here, um, you know, on this is, is once Gala reaches, you know, 60 frames per second, 120 frames per second in terms of graphics, I think that's really when it's going to take off. I, I think that's the big downside of crypto, crypto metaverse right now is the graphic sides of uh, pushing people from PC who are playing 120 FPS. You know, graphics are pretty much 5D at this point, you know, when you're playing on a computer. When these companies catch up with the graphics, I think that's really when it's going to take over. As you see, you already got the Walking Dead. You have the same partnerships and you can make money it's just a big difference right now at least for me who's someone who plays video games quite often is is it's hard to go from playing on 120 fps to something that's very grainy or you know slow so you know i think when they bridge that gap it's going to make a huge huge difference so yeah, that's all i wanted to add Boris. perfect well thank you everyone thank you colton and we look forward to seeing you on the next kryptonite video bye bye thank you, thank you. i hope this video helps uh, thank you for watching. Have a good day. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. And if you like the video at the end, click on the thumbs up.